Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick little review comparison between the iPhone 6 uh, versus the Huawei P8 uh, Lite, which is the um, light version of the original Huawei P8. So I've already done the comparison between the iPhone 6 versus the original Huawei P8, so you can check that out on my channel. So let's just start off this comparison with um, the the display. This is the main thing that you're going to see first when you see when you're going to hold both phones in hand uh, like this. So the iPhone 6 has 4.7 inch screen, while this uh, little boy here has uh, around 5 inch screen with 720p HD resolution. This is a HD display, and this is uh, not in a, a bad display. So it is really battery friendly and it has really nice being angles and all that kind of stuff. Uh, While well, the iPhone 6 has 4.7 inch uh, display, uh, their retina technology and all that, it's a really nice display overall. You know, it's, it's really nice uh, being angles and all that. Uh, with a resolution of 750 by 1334 pixel, 326 ppi, it's definitely not the best display out there, uh, and you know, if we talk about the price, uh, so yeah, the price. The price is the main thing because people don't really know about the Huawei P8 Lite. P8 Lite is basically a you know overall a budget version of Huawei P8. You know, it's not uh, having that uh, full metallic body. It has plastic on the side, while this good pattern uh, that don't allow the device to you know slip from the hand. So uh, this is basically the thing that you need to learn is that this is a is a normal device that you can get around two hundred and forty dollars. Um, it, it still has pretty nice specs, by the way. Uh, uh, the camera here is is sixteen uh, is sixteen. Sorry, it's not sixteen. It's thirteen megapixel camera, and the Huawei P8, the original one, also has that same thirteen megapixel camera. Um, but we do have a little bit more features there on the Huawei P8. I'll be doing a comp camera comparison, so we're gonna see the quality there. So um, you can see that this is the the camera here with dual LED flash on the back. Um, and it still got some pretty nice stuff to offer at a price point of $240. Well, the iPhone 6 is really uh, expensive, you know. It's uh, around $650, 65,000 rupees in my country, uh, and that's a lot of money. You know, um, the Galaxy 6 will cost you around $560. Um, yeah, that's the best price that is you know, that is you're gonna get uh, around um, on different online stores here in Pakistan. Uh, while the iPhone 6 will definitely gonna cost you still more than the Galaxy S6, you know, even more than the Galaxy S6. So it's really price-wise, yeah, this one wins a lot. It does offers a lot of good features. Um, so uh, iPhone 6 is really slim device. Uh, has that good aluminum uh, use, you know, has that Apple thing, you know. Uh, they really have their brand equity strong, you know, the Apple brand, so it's really look a little bit more premium, and this one also looks uh, nice, but it's not that much premium as compared to the iPhone. If we compare it like this um, side by side, so the iPhone 6 is coming at about 6.9 millimeter, which is really thin, uh, while this one is coming at 7.7 .7 millimeter. Uh, and iPhone 6 is also lighter uh, due to its small form factor, uh, which is coming in at like 129 gram, and this one is coming in at 131 gram in terms of weight. But overall, you're not gonna notice that much of a difference. And we do have a fingerprint scanner here, um, and we, we don't get uh, things like that the, on this phone. Of course, just offer us the phone features and all that stuff on that price. Uh, so um, if I talk about the software here, this is coming with Android version 5.0 Lollipop. That's really nice. You know, a lot of phones don't come uh, with the with this version. You know, most are coming with the KitKat. If you talk about the previous Huawei phones, but they have really updated this uh, P8 and the P8 Lite devices. Uh, so we do have this um, this Android version 5.0. It has its own goodness on the top. We have Huawei's Emotion UI 3.1. Uh, you can see that we can scroll and um, we don't get any home screen, so it's on good uh, usage. While here on the iPhone 6, I got the iOS 9 beta fresh installed. Um, it has, you know, its own goodness. You know, iOS and Android is a big differences and all that stuff. Uh, if I just lock both phones, you can see we do get a lot, lot of resemblance. You can go into camera on both phones, and uh, also we do get some control center type thing here on this one. 
um, just like on the iPhone 6. Uh, it resembles a lot in, if you see the bottom things, um, same sound controls. Uh, also you can unlock the device or you can go into camera. We do have Teams option here uh, with the, the, um, the, the, the Huawei P8 Lite you can see. Uh, that is really nice. You can also do customization um, like this. Uh, like this, you know, you can apply different type of themes. Uh, you can also um, check out their store. Um, I mean, you can also get some themes from the Play Store. Um, iPhone 6 uh, really you know, nice, optimized kind of environment. You know, it all comes down to your personal preference. If you like Android, you will enjoy this experience more. Of course, if you don't uh, enjoy like the the this experience, like Huawei is Emotion UI, you can use some launcher. You know, there's a lot of options on Android. It's really flexible. iOS is is a little bit boring, but it's getting better with the iOS 9. You can see that the multitasking look here. So under the hood, we have the Karen 9, uh, Karen 6. 30 octa core chipset here uh, with this um, this Huawei P8 Lite which is which is a really nice it's basically 620 it's not 630 it's 620 octa core clocked at 1.2 gigahertz um, with the, it is a 64 bit and also it has Mali 450 MP4 GPU not gonna see any kind of lag whatsoever it is really snappy and all that stuff you're not gonna see any 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 kind of lag and that's my promise to you uh, I've already done a gaming test and that's a surprise for you guys you can also check that out on my channel so iPhone 6 is really optimized in terms of gaming. That's Apple A chipset, uh, dual core clock. That's 1.4 gigahertz Cyclone Power VR TX6450 GPU. I uh, mean, it's a, a really nice GPU. And if you're wondering about what is wrong with my iPhone 6, it's basically the, about the water test. I all, all I, I have. You know, I always have to mention this in my videos, uh, and you know, people just keep commenting, "What is that wrong with your iPhone 6?" I'm, am I gonna fix it if I, you know? Have some extra cash, but I'm currently looking forward to some more phones. Uh, so yeah, that's about the software. That's about the processor and other stuff. Uh, I'll be doing some camera tests also. We're gonna do some benchmark tests also. So I'm gonna do some combined uh, benchmark tests in the future, uh, very very near future. So yeah. Make sure you stay tuned for that. So let's just check out the camera. So the iPhone 6 has this 8 megapixel camera. Uh, I sight real nice with that big sensor. I mean, this is really good. This camera, Huawei's camera, is really nice in terms of the uh, the the picture quality. It's not as much accurate, as much uh, fast. You can see that as compared to the iPhone 6. iPhone 6 does capture a lot of detail outside. You know, its focus is really good. Uh, but that doesn't mean this is bad. This is also good with its price. You can also record 1080p HD video. Um, you know, a lot of stuff that we can do with this Huawei P8 Lite is kind of similar to the iPhone 6. iPhone 6 can uh, record a uh, hair, uh, the video, the slow mo. Yeah, you know, that's a good feature there. And time lapse. You can also record a time lapse video here with this one. So on the front, we have a 1.2 megapixel camera on the iPhone 6, which is um, nice in terms of the selfie. It's not that good. You do have a lot of other good options. Um, speaking of good options, so you, yeah, I do have the LG G4, which really, which has a really great front camera. While this one is coming with a five megapixel front camera, and of course has good modes and all that stuff. And you know, you can go into the video department. You can check the settings here. If I go into settings, you can t see with the front camera, even though it's five megapixel, but still, uh, you can see that I can still call a 720p video, and that sucks. But yeah, that's that. You know, we can't ask more because of the price they are giving. So they are really nice overall. Huawei P8 Lite, good phone, good good phone. If you if you really want a, a good phone with good design, good performance, good apps, and all that stuff, good gaming also, and then this phone is a good choice. It has two GB of RAM also. While the iPhone 6 is definitely for you know high class people that want to spend extra cash on the build quality, on the better camera, on the better iOS, uh, you know, if they you know, want a little bit better apps. And, but yeah, Android has is keeping up now, but still we do got some better apps on the iOS. But still they want some top of the line stuff that they can have the iPhone 6. So yeah, that's my full comparison between these two phones. I'll be doing some other tests also, so make sure you subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss what's next. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, boys.